This is a place that has always been described by looking up. Today, instead, we would try to look down, underground. An ongoing 10-year project led by Professor Roberto Francesi of the University of Parma and the OGS, who has been conducting different types of geophysical measurements in this area. In 2015, for the first time, we tested the technique that we are using today, a resistivity and chargeability survey that makes use of distributed devices. Small receiving boxes distributed on the terrain with a three-dimensional arrangement and coupled with an external transmitter. In 2015, for the very first time, this afforded imaging below the slip surface of the massive landslide that affected this area. We make use of devices developed by the French company Iris Instruments. And this system is called Full Waiver because it is made up of autonomous reception boxes that are able to record the electrical potential in the soil with a frequency of 100 hertz. Therefore, a measurement is recorded every 10 milliseconds. These systems are coupled with the VIP transmission unit, also developed by Iris Instruments, which allows injecting an electric current of up to 10 amps into the ground. Today we are transmitting currents of around 2 to 3 amps, which is enough to obtain a good signal on a 2.5 kilometer long profile, hence reaching up to 500-600 meters of depth of investigation. This is the first of the receivers, the one closest to the dam, the one to the west, as you can see. We are in a forest, so it is rough terrain. With these devices, we can arrange the electrodes effectively, even in the woods, even if the GPS is tree-covered. This box is already recording the potential at a 10 milliseconds rate. At the end of the day, we will have the complete registration. And this is a three-dimensional resistivity model that derives from the processing of the full waiver measurements by the ERT Lab Studio software. For the first time, this model allows the sharp imaging of the shape and complexity of the slip surface underground for this landslide, which is probably the largest and most studied in the world.